κάτω στο γυαλό στην άμμο κάνουνε τα ψάρια γάμο και παντρεύουν τη μαρίδα με γάμπρο την παλαμίδα The Initiative for Heritage Conservancy, an NGO created to promote best practice in heritage management. The problem that we're trying to address is that heritage is increasing as we make new discoveries, as time passes, yet we have shrinking budgets. Athens and Greece were chosen for their amazing heritage and their world-class uh, archaeological sites which give us access to a lot of high-quality stuff and all the possible expertise we might need for what we want to do. This is actually what we offer to students and all these things have to do with management. Managing budgets and personnel, communicating with local communities, creating education programs, promoting the archaeological sites or museums, managing stakeholders, managing personnel, managing conflicts, managing budgets. One of the most important programs is IHC Digital, which aims to promote digital technologies for the benefit of various aspects of managing heritage. We have a big summer school in heritage digitization, in 3D laser scanning and photogrammetry. Learning to digitize uh, archaeological sites and historical buildings, um, it's kind of uh, the new thing in heritage management right now. You learn how to use this data. There are many possibilities. You can uh, recreate an entire building in your computer or someone from the other side of the world can visit the building and see its uh, details and its architectural characteristics. We also want to engage local communities everywhere and make sure they take care of their own heritage sites. And for this, IHC Public is the program which works in Crete doing exactly that. I work in the village of Ronies. Ronies is a village in the mountainous region of Iraklio. It used to be a very big and prosperous village. It is now occupied mostly by uh, elderly people. I do ethnography. I speak to people. I ask them uh, about their village, what they think about their village, what they think is important about their area and the village, how they feel about um, their ancient heritage. IHC Legal is our program to do with the legal protection of monuments internationally. There is a number of international treaties that countries have signed but have not implemented. The reason for that is that the people who write the treaties are not the people who have to implement them. The people who have to implement them are not lawyers and very often do not understand what the treaties are about. So we are hoping to codify the multiple versions of treaties and simplify these treaties, uh, creating action plans for heritage managers, making it easy for these treaties to be applied, and thus improving the threshold of heritage management throughout the world. There is a greater program called IHC Conservation, which aims to promote good practice in conserving monuments. Our ideal uh, in this program is to create continuous conservation programs for all important archaeological sites in the world. And we try, together with IHC Digital and IHC Public, to come up with solutions that are sustainable and long-lasting. Within the framework of this, we have looked carefully into the effects of climate change on the management of monuments. We held an international think tank here in the Acropolis Museum. We had 12 experts from all around the world that were specialized in the fact of climate change. They were talking and analyzing the problems for a day. And then the day after we had an open conference. So we organized an exhibition. We held that exhibition in LFC NA. And because uh, we nowadays know that an exhibition is a limited uh, event, we also developed a web exhibition and the web exhibition is still ongoing. The website is climateandmonuments.com. You can visit all the research done there. Nowadays we are working on an educational program that has to do with an application on a tablet and it's about 3D audio tour in Acropolis as it used to be in a classical era. 
Based on this application, we are creating an educational program for children from 4 to 17 years old. We are creating another program called Archaeologist and uh, has to do with uh, all the jobs relating to an excavation and all the procedures that need to be done in order to promote an ancient monument. It's a very important part of the Metapetychiac Exactly γιατί αναδεικνύει την πολιτιστική και την αρχαιολογική σημασία της Ελευσίνας. Έχοντας υπόψη πόσο σοβαρή είναι αυτή η προσπάθεια, ο Δήμος προσπαθεί με τις δικές του δυνάμεις να βοηθήσει στην υλοποίηση του μεταπτυχιακού, δίνοντας αίθουσες για να γίνονται οι συζητήσεις και μαθήματα, όπως και ίντερνετ. Το θεωρούμε υποχρέωσή μας, αυτονόητη υποχρέωσή μας, να βοηθάμε κάθε τέτοιου είδου ενέργεια που αφορά στην προβολή της Ελευσίνας. Our main goal is to promote the heritage and the culture of uh, Elefsina out of Greece. Not only the ancient Elefsinian mysteries, but the light and the culture that someone can get out of this uh, area. Being in Greece will also allow you to have access to a lot of expertise in just about any area in heritage management. And so teaching a master's program or teaching any other program in heritage management can be done very well in Greece because you have all the architects that are interested in heritage, all the engineers and the conservators, all the scientists, the museum scientists, or the educators. IHC is an important initiative, mainly because it combines both education and conservation. Uh, many other programs just look at one or the other. This program integrates the two aspects so that people are not just learning how to conserve, but learning how conservation fits into the broader scheme of things and educationally they're being developed as well. It does not matter if you are from North or South America, Africa, Asia, Australia or Europe. Heritage is all around. It can be tangible or intangible. It can be impressive or modest. Yet heritage is there to be managed more efficiently. It is there so that we can become richer people. It is not about Greece. It is about the world. <laughs> Κι ας έχει και αντίρρηση